get the language right tonight. If you want to take a picture, yeah, feel free, feel free, free of charge. You, you, what do you, you agree? What's your nationality? Unfortunately, right? That's what you mean to say? Huh? You're mixed? What's your mixture? Because, uh, get that in a, the father. What, what's your mix with? White and Asian. White and Asian? Oh, wow. Yeah, so. Oh, your father, what's, what's your father? He's Jewish, like the, not the real Jew, basically? Yeah. Yeah, so you know. You can agree, it's obvious. You know that your people ain't go through this. I agree. Right. He's right, he's not white. Right? You hate that they're painting him white? So you hate that they're saying Jesus is white, okay. It's in geography, right. That. Exactly. Exactly. Get that in Genesis. I'm going to be honest with you. Listen good. I'm going to read to you what would happen to your skin if you was raised there. Because there's people there now. Your people are there now. And guess what? They have yet to turn this color. They have yet to turn like that man. They don't. We're going to read to you what color you guys get. 25, 25. Yeah. See, it is. It's clear as it's clear as crystal. I mean, we don't worship the thing. That's just our way of saying that you know he looks similar to this. Because we got people that want to think you know a dollar tree and all. No, we ain't into that. Listen good. Listen good. Genesis Jeez. chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-five. And the first came out red. Read up, up, up. Verse twenty-one. Listen good. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife uh -huh. because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him. Uh -huh. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. So she got pregnant by Isaac because he prayed about it. Read. And the children struggled together within her. And they fought inside her belly. The children fought. Get the image. They fought each other. Read. And she said, if it be so, why? If this is a blessing, is what she's asking. If this is a blessing, read. Why am I thus? Why are they in there fighting? I've been going through so much pain. Why is this happening? This is supposed to be a blessing. Read. And she went to inquire of the Lord. So she asked God about it. Read. And the Lord said unto her, uh -huh. Two nations are in thy womb. What? Two nations. Two nations are in your womb. This is what God said to her. Read. And two manner of people. And two what? And two manner of people. And two different kind of people are inside of her. Read. Shall be separated from thy bowels. And they shall be what? Separated from thy bowels. We were never to be together. We were never allowed to be like this. We were brought here on slave ships. We were forced to be around your people. Unfortunately, right? That's what it says. But guess what? But it's prophecy. We understand you love us. Hey, look, man. I'm surprised because the Bible says that y'all supposed to hate us, which y'all did. Look at what happened to us. Read. Listen, read, read. And the one people shall be stronger than the other. The one nation, the one people shall be stronger than the other. Now you look at it and you said it even in geography and in history. For a people to be enslaved so harshly and be beaten so badly and still make it to see today and stand strong like we're standing. We're clearly stronger than the other. That's right. That's what the Bible said. Read on. In sports, who dominates sports? Blacks, Hispanics, natives. You understand? Uh, uh, and, and anything that you put a black man in, if you allow me to become, uh, I'm talking about 
repenting. If you allow me as the repentant Israelite to become the next president, it is over. We are ruling the world. That's right. They're not going to let that happen. They know how strong we are. Read on. The elder shall serve the younger. The elder is going to serve the younger. The elder came out. Let me see who came out first. Watch. Who's the elder? Read on. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, uh -huh. behold, there were twins in her womb. There were twins, but there were two minor people, two different kind of nations. Read. And the first came out red. The first came out what? And the first came out red. The first came out red. What color do you get when you get a tan? You burn red. That's why I said if you go back to Israel, you're not going to get black like Christ. You understand? You're going to get red. And some of y'all might even get boils. Because your, your, your skin can't, can't take the sun. Me, I get, I get reddish, then it starts turning brownish. Then I get, uh, 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 I, get, uh, I get a little darker than this. But I don't get red and stay red and start bubbling. It doesn't happen. We know who we are. You understand what I'm saying? Read on. And the first came out red. All over like a hairy garment. And he was red. And he was hairy all over. What people are, are normally hairy. You said, go into history. You said something about uh, uh, choreology, something like that? Something like that she said? Oh. Choreography, something like that? Ancient history. Yeah, we have beautiful beards. All praises to the most high. My eyes have yet to grow. But we got brothers with beautiful beards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's there. He said red and hairy all over. Who? What you say again? Cavemen. Cavemen always been white. You see that? So our brother was a caveman. That's what the Bible said. Right, because we're, we're not. We were made different. You understand? Read. Listen good. Like a hairy garment. Like a hairy garment. Read. And they called his name Esau. His name was Esau. There's a book that you can look up right now on Amazon, possibly eBay, uh, what's that, Barnes & Noble. It's called, um, the book is called Edom. Esau. Who, uh, who is Edom? And the image of all the faces on that book are all white people. That's right. They know. Your people know the history. They just don't want to show it to us. Because they don't want us. They're not ready for us to rule yet. You understand? But that's not going to matter because at the end of the day, what Christ said is what's going to go. The prophecy must be fulfilled. That's what God said. You understand? Is it more than that? That's it. Keep reading. And after that came his brother out. After the first one came out, the red guy, the hairy one, after that came his brother out. Read on. And his hand took hold on Esau's hill. Now our hand took hold on his hill. We came following him. Basically what that's showing us, there's a book in Esdras that explains that. We're going to read it. But the problem is this, right? It didn't explain his brother's features. Why didn't it explain his brother's features? Because what? No, it's not because it's racist. It's because in the beginning, God already had explained his, his, his features when he made them the first time. Prior to Genesis 25, everybody in this book was dark-skinned. You understand? Now listen to this. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God for a man of the dust of the ground. So Isaac, Rebekah, Jacob, Esau's brother, they were already dark. That's why I didn't explain it. He didn't have to. It was already written. You feel me? Go to um, Esdras. Listen to this. Stop. Remember, Jacob took the heel of, e uh, the heel of Esau. Okay, read. Second Esdras, chapter 6, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. Esau is the end of the world. Meaning Esau is the last ruling empire. Bring it out. After your rule, read. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Then it's our turn. That's right. We're up next, in other words. You understand? So that's just what is written. I'm not saying nothing that's not in this book. It's not hatred. It's biblical facts. We speak, thus saith the Lord. Um, yeah. Revelations chapter 13 verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. So listen good, because everybody has ears, but they really don't hear. You understand? So he's telling people.
to pay close attention. Now this goes out to you so-called black, Hispanics, and natives. Y'all better hear this word. Read. He that leadeth into captivity, he that puts a man into slavery, read on, shall go into captivity. Will go into slavery. Read. He that killeth with the sword, as long as they continue killing us, read on, must be killed with the sword. They too must die. That's the Bible, sis. I'm, not, I'm just simply reading it. But our people don't want to hear that. Our churches don't want to teach that. Because somebody taught them another Jesus with another spirit and another gospel. But not this gospel. This gospel teaches us that we as a nation, black, Hispanics, and natives, must learn to truly love one another and build as a nation. You understand? That's what we must do. It's a shame that you acknowledge that. But they don't. As a matter of fact, that's in, um, give me, I think it's 3 and 5. Ex, 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 Ezekiel, yeah. Listen to this. Because this is what's the matter with our people. God already knew this. He wrote it down. Y'all can ignore his word, but y'all are all marked. Because on the day of judgment, y'all cannot say that y'all did not hear this book. Read. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 5. Read. For thou art not sent to a people of strange speech. We didn't send us to people that don't know how to speak our language. No. They understand us. It's plain English. Read. And of a hard language. We're not speaking to Chinese people. We're not speaking to the American that speak that real American language. We're not speaking to Arabs. He's speaking to the people that understand us. Read on. But to the house of Israel. He sent us to Israel. Black, Hispanics, and native. That's who God sent us to. Read on. Not to many people of a strange speech. He didn't send us to speak to people that don't speak our language. Read. And of an hard language. And of a hard language. Read. Whose word thou canst not understand. See that? Because we understand them. They understand me. I was speaking to the uh, brother earlier. I understand his ignorance. But I know it's ignorant, so I'm going to be ignorant to the ignorance. Read on. Surely have I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. But this is what he says. If he would have sent us to other people that are not ours, they would have listened. That's a shame. If, he, if Christ would have sent us to you, you would have hearkened. Just like he sent us to, I don't know, Jerome, Hakeem. Lakisha, what's your name, sis? Tina. He sent us to them. But they don't want to hear us. Maybe one, two, three might hear us. The rest want to go about smoking their drug, killing themselves, and killing each other. When we're simply trying to teach them not to do that. You understand? That's all we're trying to do. Learn to love your brother. Had we gone to your people, y'all would have taken heed. Because y'all want to rule. Y'all don't want to lose your kingdom. You don't, see? You don't want to lose it. Oh, you don't care? We'll see, because when that day comes, you ain't going to have no choice. No, no, I, I don't know what God going to want us to do on that day. But he said that those that killed with the sword, those that enslaved us, they will have to pay. That's what Revelations, the last book of the Bible says. That's what the black Messiah said. Exactly. Right. Not to the actual people, to the kids too. Actually, the all people. All people. Um. 1421. Right, get that. Because listen to this. This is, as a matter of fact, get in an Exodus 20. Now, this is good to bring to us. To us. Because I brought out earlier how our young are dying. And they're dying before we make it to see their grandchildren. Before I found this truth, I said to myself, you know what? It looks like I'm not going to make it to 30. That's what I said. I'm like, damn, you know what? I ain't going to make it to 30. The way I'm living, this is crazy. All praises to the Most High. I made it past that. And I'm glad. But it had not been because of this truth. I probably would have not had kids. I probably would have not been here. It's this truth that converts us. It changes us. It makes you a better man. A better father. You understand? It makes you a role model to your people. That's right. As a man or a woman. Okay? Read that. Listen to this. Exodus chapter 20.
21 verse 16. No, 20. He is the Lord. So don't worry about that when you about. Children. Two. Thank you. Can you find the name of the Lord? Exodus chapter 20 and verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother. This is what God said. It was a commandment in the Ten Commandments, right? And he, we, we're supposed to teach this to our children. They're supposed to honor us. Read on. That thy days may don't be leave, long. Don't leave that way. I want to read it loud. Keep reading. Honor thy mother and thy mother. Uh -huh. That thy days may be long upon the land. That your days may be long upon the land. The reason you die young is because you don't honor your father. You do not honor your mother. And when you do honor them, you honor them in wickedness. Bring it out. Because their mother and their father didn't teach them God's ways. That's the reason we die young. Read that again. Honor thy father and thy mother, uh -huh. that thy days may be long upon the land. That your days may be long in the land. If you honor your father and your mother, when they tell you do not steal, do not kill, don't hang out with so-and-so, he's a bad influence. Don't hang out on that corner, a lot of bad things happen there. If you would have obeyed that, you would not have died. That's right. Or your boy would not have died. Or your girl would not have died. Understand that. But since we don't obey that, you are willingly killing yourself. It's considered suicide. Read on. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. But yet, that's what we do all day. Every day. We kill each other. Get the haters here and kill. The two of them. Or seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. John. Because we don't know how to love each other. Today is a day that we are supposed to come to God and confess our faults to Him and to each other and forsake them. It's called the Day of Atonement. But we don't know that because we love the lies. We love hypocrisy. We love to live the lies we've been taught by society. Read. First John chapter 3 verse 15. Uh -huh. Whosoever hateth his brother. When you hate your brother. Read. Is a murderer. You are considered a murderer. When you sell drugs to your brother. You are considered a murderer. When you sell cigarettes to your brother. You are considered a murderer. Read that again. Whosoever hated his brother, whoever sells cigarettes to his brother, is a murderer. Is a murderer. Read. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life of God. But there is no life for you unless you stop that and learn to live according to God. If you want to live long, Stop committing that wicked sin. Stop hating your brother. That's right. But you don't know about God. You're too busy following Allah, who can't save you. Right. Too busy following Christianity, white Jesus, who can't save you. Who allow you to commit these wicked acts. Our God ain't about that. Our God is about love. Give me the uh, Proverbs 13 8. Our God is about showing you how to love each other and love yourself. But y'all don't want to learn that because the white man taught you to hate your people. Right. He taught you to hate yourself. Bring it out. He gives you crack and then says, sell this to the people in your community. Stay away from the suburbs. And y'all run with it. Because you hate yourself, but you love the white man more. You will sit right here and watch two black people fight and roll star that crap. But as soon as a black man touch a white man, y'all ready to save his life. That's right. Y'all ready to kill the next black man who tries to hit that white man. Bring it out. That's called hatred.
it's so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew it sound odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it sounds wrong man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.